Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our show, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. We're also on Instagram at Sidley Twins, and you can also find us on X. What the, Steph, come on, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Did you say Twitter X? I did. <laughs> Sometimes things just fall into our lap and they just land there and you wonder how did this happen? I mean, we couldn't have asked for a better subject to talk about because not only are we well versed in this subject, but this is sort of on the lines that we've been talking about all week. Tom Bauer predicts that the bullying claims and that bullying report that they did on Megan is going to slowly start coming out because Samantha Cohen mentioned it a little bit. We all know Megan is a bully. We all know that Megan bullied her staff out of the palace. We all know that there's a rotating door at Archwell as well. This is all factual, okay? We did a video on it yesterday about bullying, about all the nothing we did. I had no idea, yeah, that this was gonna come up today. And then you've got Megan and her dumb platform saying that social media is abusive towards her. She can't take the online abuse. It's just too much for her. She can't take it. People are bullies. Melissa McCarthy just can't understand why she gets this much hate because she's such a strong woman and this just doesn't make sense to her. Well, Megan, maybe it's because of the people you're hanging out with. Bullies hang out with bullies. Now, I was waiting for more jam to come down because People Magazine is saying that American Riviera Orchard is going to make its debut in the spring. Well, last time I checked, it is the spring. But <laughs> last time my allergies checked. Yeah. I thought next we're going to see Ellen do it or Kim Kardashian. Those are the two people I thought were coming next. The last person I thought would do a jam ad or that Megan would send one of those cheap press boxes to was Chrissy Teigen. Blew <laughs> my mind. That's the worst person you should send it to if you have charges against you about bullying. Can you think of someone higher than Chrissy Teigen on the bullying stratosphere that could do an ad for this stupid jam? I, I can't think of anybody higher. A, a Kim Kardashian. I agree with you on Kim. You've got her with all the bullying, yes. And then you've got her making excuses for Balenciaga. You know, she made that one statement. And if you don't know, just look it up. Look up child ad Balenciaga. I don't know how much I can talk about it on here. We've discussed it on the show before. It's gross. It's disgusting. What Balenciaga did, we thought they were canceled forever. And you know what's interesting about Balenciaga? The one person that was the most outraged out of everybody was Masson. Masson was so outraged. Well, Masson, are you going to be outraged that Megan sent a jar of jam to a woman that after the Balenciaga campaign happened, thought it would be cute that when she was pregnant, went around with Balenciaga mm -hmm. maternity wear. Oh, cool. She thought that was funny. And Masson asked us, he asked the whole world to cancel, to boycott Balenciaga. That. But you've got your best friend, Megan, sending her jars of jam. So which one is it, Masson? You can't have it both ways, buddy. You just can't. The yeah. hypocrisy meter just broke. Boom. So this morning, Chrissy Teigen on her Instagram page not only puts that she got that jar of strawberry jam and those lemons, <laughs> but she had to put a whole reel of her getting ready and she had to include her kids. Because if Chrissy doesn't include her kids, then who's going to watch it? And she also <laughs> thinks this is a Kardashian move, that if you include your kids, you're not going to get a lot of hate under the post. That's just a little trick they use. They use it like a bulletproof vest. Yeah. So let's look at the ad. First, I can't play the music because um, she uses Jammin' by Bob Marley. Of course she does. This is already the cheesiest thing I've already seen. She is number 20. <laughs> why is that so funny? I don't oh, know. No. Why is 20? I don't know. She's frying the bacon in her cravings by Chrissy Teigen. Pot? Pot? Where? Yeah. Is that, what is it called? Cooking wear? Cooking wear. 
And there they are. And they're going to put bacon. And this is just, and look at, we've got the cleavage. We're eating it. This is probably the best jam she's ever had in her life. I mean, she's going all out. It, it, she really is going all out. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> if you guys follow Chrissy Teigen, this was a special photo shoot that she did. She called in Mike Rosenthal to come in and do this for her. She called in hair and makeup. This is glam. This is including her children. This is including nails. This was staged completely. It was like a commercial. Now, if you have not been here before, we have talked about Chrissy Teigen couple times. You even brought it up with mom during a live when I've been out of town, yeah. I remember. So here's Chrissy Teigen with her number 20 jar of jam. And again, like Stephanie said, she really did go out loud on this <laughs> because if you look at other Instagram stories of her, she usually doesn't have any makeup on. Her nails are never done. She's usually kind of like a homebody these days. And the reason she's a homebody is because she was canceled many, 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 many years ago. Chrissy Teigen wrote under her Instagram page, we jamming. This might have been one of the best bites we've had all year. All we used is some rustic bread, salt, butter, triple cream brie, thick cut bacon. Okay, I need to stop the, her right there. All you used? <laughs> That's um, a lot. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Salted butter, triple cream brie, and bacon. Those are three flavor pops. What do you mean all you used? How do you even know strawberry jam was in there? And a all? little tiny spoonful <laughs> of her <laughs> strawberry jam. And oh my God, it only took eight minutes total <laughs> and made us happy for the entire weekend. Oh man. <laughs> It was just so easy. So this was her big weekend commercial, yes. sounds like. Yes. And she got Mike Rosenthal and she got everybody together. She got the lighting all right. She tried to pretend like she was taking it herself in her in her Chrissy Teigen row. You know, that was her row. Oh, yeah. No, you know I what know. I mean? Like, oh, I'm just doing a whole ad here. Now, you guys are probably wondering, why does she have all this stuff, all this leftover stuff that has her name on it? Well, we're going to tell you if you don't already know. Chrissy Teigen had come out with a kitchen. So she was trying to do a lifestyle line. Martha you know, Stewart. Martha Stewart called it Cravings by Chrissy Teigen. Mm -hmm. And all the major retail stores had it, like Macy's and Target. It was kind of a big deal. And people Huge. were getting excited about it because Chrissy Teigen had sort of been under the radar where we just saw her as a mother and a stay-at-home wife to John. Everybody loved John Legend. What's not to love about sweet little John Legend? He's there playing the piano, like he's innocent, like there's nothing going on here. So nobody really thought of anything, but then Chrissy had made a comment about her being bullied. Somebody had bullied her about something on Twitter, something really stupid. And instead of just letting it go and just thinking it was an online troll, Chrissy had to make a big deal about it and act like a victim. Well, that was the mistake that blew her entire empire up. Courtney Stodham, who was relentlessly bullied by Chrissy years before that, when she was a teenager, not Chrissy, Courtney. Courtney was a teenager. Chrissy was pushing 30. But Courtney did not grow up in a very good situation. So her mom was really stupid. She let her get married to an actor. I just remember him as the actor from Lost. And Courtney was a minor. And it. she also let her get a bunch of plastic surgery. It was a mess. I don't want to get into it because all this happened when she was a minor. It's a really sad story. And uh, Chrissy, instead of being an adult, and let's say Courtney wasn't a minor. How about just not bullying people yeah. in general for no reason? Courtney wasn't doing anything to Chrissy. All Courtney was doing was making headlines, which her mom and her then husband were the ones trying to exploit her. Mm -hmm. They were exploiting this poor girl. So Chrissy instead takes it out on Courtney, bullies her to the point where she thinks she should off herself. I am shocked when I read these text messages because if anybody other than Chrissy Teigen mm -hmm. had done these tweets, they would have gotten their account suspended. I know. I agree. Guys, it's shocking. You haven't seen it already. These are just a few. Can you guess which animal cleans itself with its own urine? Ew, gross. Courtney Sodom on Backdoor Teen Mom. Now, calling any minor backdoor mm -hmm. in general, that means something, guys, that's not appropriate to say about a minor at all. And this is 2013. Shame on you, Chrissy. 
Saying Courtney Stodham's Facebook page got shut down for being too sexy is like saying the schmatzies were just meanies, as in not quite. And then these are just some other ones, guys. I'm going to put it up here. If you really want to read them, you can. You can pause it right now. I'm not going to read these. I don't feel comfortable reading it because, again, this was about a minor. Chrissy also made very suggestive tweets. I don't know if I can read these. Towards children? Towards little children. Oh, okay, okay. When I reread these this morning, getting ready for the show, I couldn't believe what I was reading again. I had read these already, and I was, I'm was i still in total shock that she wrote these but she admits to writing them. Twitter, shame on you for not taking it down and suspending her account. But again, if you want to pause and read, she's alluding to Epstein in all these things. I don't know if she's trying to be funny or what, but none of this crap is funny. She actually, she actually says the P word. Do you see that? She mm -hmm. actually spells out the P word. Yeah. And they let that stay on Twitter. With the toddlers and tiara reference. Reference. That's Wow. And this is the girl that Megan sent a jar of jam to hoping she would put it on her Instagram page. Masson, are you paying attention to this? Because this really bugged you, buddy. And Masson, this is not Photoshop. These are actual Twitter comments, tweets, X's, whatever you want to call it. This is just part of an article that said, although there's currently no proof that she is in any way connected to Jeffrey Epstein, people are still rightfully shocked at some of the tweets Chrissy Teigen has previously posted. And of course, she's making allusions to Pizzagate. I'm not going to read this. Let's compose and read. Anthony Weiner back then, he was a congressman in New York. And uh, he had a problem sending pictures to underage girls. I don't know what possessed her to write this. Again, I don't feel comfortable reading this. Do you feel comfortable? No, I don't I, feel comfortable putting this up. I remember doing a whole expose on this on um, my Instagram years ago. So yeah, if again, you guys seeing this for the first time, yeah, prepare to be shocked. Masan, I hope you're reading this. I'm bored. Really want to watch kids. I, I don't feel comfortable okay, saying so that. It's just, wow. It's just disgusting. She's, Gosh. she's disgusting. You guys are more than welcome to pause and read. And this is uh, this is uh, in, uh, you can Google them. You can do whatever you want. I personally am not going to read this on the show. So this is Chrissy Teigen. She relentlessly bullied a minor to the point where Courtney admitted years later that she wanted to take her own life because of Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy Teigen does some dumb half-ass apology through her team. Yes. She doesn't even do it from herself. She does it like it was years ago, you know. She says she was young. She, she goes, she goes, I was young and dumb. No, Chrissy, we're no, the no, same no, age. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. I can say I was young and dumb. Stephanie was young and dumb. And yeah, we were young um, and dumb in our 20s and we did a lot of stupid things. Yes. However, you cannot go back 10 years and find any tweets like that at all. Yeah, she, she was trying to weasel her way out of it's that It's the same thing with the Alexi Navalny thing when people were coming out and saying, well, you know, he had different politics back then. Hey, you get older, your politics change. Some people get more liberal. Some people get more conservative. That's fine. But guess what? 10 years ago... You can't find one video of us calling Muslims cockroaches. You just can't. So this whole I was young and dumb thing, no, I'm tired of hearing that. It it doesn't stand, okay? Because there are a lot of people that are young and dumb. just doesn't work. So that was her whole excuse was she was young and dumb. She couldn't personally apologize to Courtney. She had to do it through her publicist. Wow. And Courtney said that. Courtney said she never reached out to me. The only time I ever heard an apology was on Twitter. That yes. Courtney came out and said that, you know, saying like, it doesn't matter. You know, let, let, let's let this go. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like she's she's never going to apologize. Exactly. Courtney being the younger one was 10 times more mature than Chrissy Teigen will ever be. Mm -hmm. So I applaud. Thank you, Courtney, for that. Yeah. Chrissy thinks, OK, I have swept this under the rug. This is all going to go away. Let me go back to my empire. This is going to be great. No. 
people were outraged that Target and Macy's were still carrying cravings by Chrissy Teigen. They could not believe it because people were like, this person is an awful person. So there was enough pressure to go around that the three giant department stores dropped Chrissy Teigen over explosive cyberbullying scandal. Chrissy Teigen's Cravings Cookware is dropped online by Macy's three days after Target. Backlash grows over Star's botched apology to Courtney Stodham for telling her to off herself in 2011. We're not making this up, Megan. And you know this, okay? You were you were into pop culture just like us back then. You were trying to do an influencer, TIG, whatever. Don't act like you didn't know about Chrissy Teigen, okay? This was the biggest story back then. She's going to come out and go, I had to Google K Chrissy Teigen. I didn't even know who Chrissy Teigen was. I mean, it got so bad that people were like linking Harvey Weinstein to Chrissy Teigen. They were taking every picture that they could find. I mean, it got really bad for Chrissy Teigen. You know, at some point she accepted the L and she just went, she just was like done. She's like, look, I get it. I get it. There's nothing I can do. Thank God my husband is a millionaire. Thank God that he can provide for me and my kids because I am a big fat loser and I'm a big fat bully. And that's never going to go away, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I mean, she even deleted 60,000 tweets. Now, what <laughs> the heck did she write 60,000 times to have to go in there and have her poor assistant do that? Chrissy Teigen has almost completely purged her Twitter page after conspiracy theorists linked her to the recently deceased and disgraced financier. Jeffrey Epstein. Now, again, there is no concrete proof to say she was tied with Jeffrey. No, so. but when there's smoke, there's fire. I mean, everyone knows that. Come on. I do know that Chrissy Teigen, you know, that's how she met John Legend. You know, she was going to those parties and stuff. And they were pretty open about how they, before they got married, like she was like, I love threesomes and I love doing this. Now, People who enjoy threesomes, no, that doesn't mean you're in a sex cult. I'm not going to say that because, you know, to each his own and everyone should do what they want. But um, she was pretty uh, out there when she I'd was. I'd like to make a toast. Here's to those who drink single, see double, and, and sleep triple. That was always a good toast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it isn't bad enough for Chrissy Teigen... Everybody's dropped her at this point. So she's thinking to herself, Chris Jenner is not going to dump me. There is no way that's going to happen. She had just partnered with Chris to do this honest company ripoff called yeah. Safe Leash. They were going to do clean cleaning products for the home. Again, they were ripping off the honest company and Myers and all those other I love great Myers. products. Yeah. So they come out with this like two weeks before all this hits. And again, I don't think she thinks Chris is going to dump her. Chris ends up dumping her. <laughs> Chrissy Teigen steps away from Safely Brand to be with her family. Chrissy Teigen's exit from the home cleaning and self-care line, which she launched with Chris Jenner, comes after her online bullying controversy. Okay, she's gone. She's been gone. She's not coming back. Nobody's sending her any press boxes. Nobody's doing that. Well, Kardashian, maybe Kim throws her yeah, a bone once in a while with skims. I do have to say that because Chrissy did do the smart thing of just laying low. Oh, she yeah. had two kids. She ended up having uh, one surrogate and then one um, her own body. And uh, she's now got four and she's living the dream. And she, we just thought, okay, well, that's just what she's going to do. I never thought in a million years somebody that complains so much about online harassment and hate would send a jar of their jam that they're trying to put. I mean, does this mean that Megan just doesn't have anybody else? Yes. Okay. Yes. And at the same time, it's a platform that has quite a bit of hate and rhetoric and incentivizes people to create pages where they can churn out very, very inciting comments and conspiracy theories that can have a tremendously negative effect on someone's mental health. It's just so hypocritical. I mean, everything that comes out of her mouth is either a lie, hypocrisy, or, you know, the letter H. You have to be so desperate 
to push your American Riviera Orchard dumb brand to have a person like Chrissy Teigen help you with the launch. It's just, it's delicious. I called it delicious this morning. I'm going to just continue saying the word delicious all day. It's just beautiful. I love it. I can just eat it up, eat it up, eat it well, we up. We don't like the bullying stuff, but uh, no. we like where this is heading. I love where it's headed. It's headed to the gutter. We were talking before the show and we said, uh, wasn't it funny when we were just joking when they first yeah. moved here about being part of the Kardashians? We were seriously joking about that. No clue. No clue. <laughs> I no mean, clue. Now... Harry's going skiing with Kris Jenner's boyfriend. I mean, hanging out at Beyonce concerts with Kris <sighs> Jenner. Like, it's, she's in the thick of it. You know, she's there. I don't know how she's going to get out of it because whatever, I mean, they might have collateral. I don't know. But I have a feeling that Kris Jenner is next on the jam list. Or Kim. Because, or Ellen. Because it is sitting there. And, and I'm going to go with my theory again. It is all sitting there. And it's not like Megan's the one calling these people up on the phone and going, hey, Chrissy, can you do a big, big commercial on my jam? Can you take the time out and do my jam? No, there is a higher power there, whether it's WME, Ari personally, or someone in the background telling these people to do this. But isn't it a setup? Nancy, the flowers are so wilted. But Chrissy couldn't even show it on, on her commercial. But Stephanie, you don't understand. Wouldn't they say, oh, wait, Megan complains constantly about being her fake. And the, Megan, you're faking being harassed. Yes. You're not harassed. You, you are the bully. Megan Markle is a bully. Hashtag Megan Markle is a bully. You bully Princess Catherine. You bully Princess Charlotte. You bully the Queen. You are the bully, and you just proved it. She's pulling at Jesse Smollett, dude, and we've been saying that one for months. Yeah. And we know what you're doing, Megan. So keep on trucking, girl. Yeah. We'll watch. I have no problem watching this dumpster <laughs> fire. <laughs> okay. Well, Stephanie, you uh, went over to Chrissy Teigen's Instagram page, and you were shocked by something. Shocked. Uh, her comments are still open. She is not disabled her comments and she has not limited her comments. Now we are not telling you to go bully Chrissy Teigen, but I thought it would be funny if everybody put this up underneath her little scam jam commercial, uh, lemon rat, lemon rat, lemon rat, lemon rat. I thought that was funny. Instead of saying anything. Now we're not telling you guys to go on there, even though her comments are still on. We just thought that the emojis would make more sense at this point to get our point across like the Swifties did with the snakes. Just, you know, it's, it's cleaner, it's less messy. And that way Megan really can't come back and say we said anything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Lemon rat is a is a delicacy delicacy in some some areas of the the world. What you I made me do. do. Look what, what you made, made me do. Look what you made me do. Look just <laughs> love that. Is song. that a Taylor Swift song? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I heard that on the radio. It's a great song. Today, guys, we're gonna do something a little different. We've actually done GoFundMe's before on the show instead of an animal rescue. It always breaks my heart when people cannot afford basic surgeries for their animals. It, it just kills me because um, we've gone through it so much with our dogs and, and cats and stuff. And just imagining not being able to have that money and take care of them would kill me. So um, I always look for these uh, GoFundMes. This is actually a friend of a friend. So I can vouch for it. Stephanie can vouch for it. Little Squishy needs dental surgery. It's really bugging his sweet little mouth. And um, I can only imagine because dental pain is really hard on dogs. So it's I'm hard gonna, on humans. Yeah. So I'm going to put Laura's GoFundMe in the description below. Please go check it out if you can. I know that she has more than a thousand now. She's pretty close to her goal. So even if everybody watching this gave her like, I don't know, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, I think she would make it by the end yeah. of the day. Share it, share it. Or share it, you know, even if you can't give her some love, just share it. Um, it would really mean the world to us. Thanks for watching. This was a fun one. I always <laughs> like ones like these. I feel like we should start a series on bullies. Like, like who's queen of the bullies? You know, it's like, just start a whole series on that and see where it goes. Cause you know, Megan is, is like almost collecting these bullies. She's collecting them for her own little tri tribe. 
tribe, tribe wine mom tribe you know you guys, one this of is the worst pr move i have seen yeah since i don't know <laughs> since balenciaga this is the worst one since Balenciaga. Yeah, I'm going to go out. I'm just going to say it. Yeah. For me personally, Balenciaga was bad, dude. But now we're getting to this one, yeah. and this one is just as bad. Because Balenciaga was so bad that their excuse was, we didn't know those pieces of paper had that court case on there, or we didn't yeah. know the photographer was going to do that. <laughs> that was Balenciaga's excuse. And then Kim's excuse for going back to the brand was they apologized. Yeah like this is so much. so yeah that's that's pretty good Valenciaga <laughs> Masson are you watching this I hope you're watching this buddy because we know this bothers you so much <laughs> Megan you are queen of the bullies I think we crown you here's your here's, here's your, your crown crowned. queen of the hop is your majesty here's your crown your majesty <laughs> all right guys we love you we will see you soon bye, guys. bye. <laughs>